Lord, the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My beloved one, today is fifth day of April, being Friday, and Easter Octave. And this will be coming from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 4, verse 1 to 12. And response to Psalm will come from Psalm 118, verse 22. And God's will say will come from John Gospel, chapter 21, verse 1 to 14. The theme of our message today is more evidence that the Lord is risen. More evidence that the Lord is risen, indeed. Today we have more evidence, convincing evidence, first-hand evidence that has risen from the dead, so that you have no reason again to doubt. And that's why today you can see that the double out of desperacy, that Jesus had died, and what are we doing again? Let's go back fishing. And Peter went fishing, and other disciples accompanied him. They fish all night, and then make any catch. They were by the sea of Tiberias. And then early in the morning, Jesus was already by the shore of the sea. And they asked them, brothers, have you made any catch? Children, have you made any catch? They said, no. Asked them to drop the net by the side and make a catch. And they dropped and made a catch. And one of the disciples said to Peter, that's the Lord. And Peter, who was almost naked, jumped into the sea and dressed himself up. And they dragged the boat because it's not far from the land. Filled with fish, about 153 of them at the shore. And when they got to the shore, there was a charcoal fire and fish was on it. And some bread. And just added to bring some of the fish. And they did. And they ate it, broke it, gave, blessed it, and gave it to them. And they all ate. None of them dared to ask him, who are you? Because they know it's the Lord. Do you see the reason, Lord? Manifesting himself, giving more evidence that he is alive. What happened at the day Peter was called, repeated itself, the miracle of the catching of fish, when they have fished all the night to show the power of the risen Lord. And now, why haven't shown the power of the risen Lord? Today, we are shown the acts of the apostle. How the people gathered. John and Paul were speaking in the temple. And the lame man who was, the hill was there. The priest and the captain of the priest arrested them and put them in, tree, in peace because they were annoyed. Because they're teaching the people and proclaiming in Jesus the resurrection of the, of the dead. Yes. That proclaiming the resurrection of the day is no more question of that than not proclaiming it. It's accepted that not proclaiming it to the people. That convinced on it already. They were arrested and put in custody. And the number of people who had their wars believed in them that their number increased up to 5,000 that day. The following day, they assembled all the councils of the priests and the elders of the people. And St. Henry's, and brought the apostles before them. I was asking them, by what authority have they healed this man? Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said, You are questioning us about the healing of a cripple. We are happy to tell you that it is by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified and killed, that this man is standing well again. Known to you all. And the apostle went further to tell them, the stone which the builders rejected had become the cornerstone. You rejected this stone, but it's not the cornerstone of our lives. Peter goes off to further to affirm the risen Lord. The stone you rejected is not the cornerstone. And of all the name given to men on earth, no other name can save except the name of Jesus. Peter was emphatic about this. No other name can save except the name of Jesus. Yes, no other name can save you. 
No courtly power can save you except in the name of Jesus. You can see the, the evidence of the risen Lord manifesting itself everywhere. And now when the psalmist who understood this so well today said, the stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. Yes, they rejected the Melia, but it's not all that matters. The power in the resurrection of Christ, the evidence of the resurrection, manifesting itself in actions now. May God help us understand through these evidences that he has risen so that we have no element to doubt anymore. We ask through Christ our Lord, the Lord be with you. May the blessings of Almighty God be upon all of us. I will celebrate the risen Lord with all the evidences around us as he is risen indeed. And of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you all.